So, okay. boom. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to the channel, Saint LFC TV. And you're here with me, boy Saint. This is a. I'm I'm really excited for this one, man. Welcome to Thoughts of a Saint, where we just sit back, relax. No real, no real structure. We're just going to talk about a couple topics. Um, and I'm very, very, very excited to have my longtime brethren and uh, and co-YouTube content producer, One Touch TV, Nigerian Englishman. Well, go on, what are you saying? Lovely to be on the show, mate. Looking forward to it, man. Chopping out with you is always a pleasure, man. Yeah. And as you said, long time friend, man. Listen, long time football rival as well. Yeah, <laughs> bear bant on the WhatsApp and that. Like, let's just bring it to YouTube. A hundred percent. Yeah, man. Listen, welcome to the channels. Good having you. Uh, for all my peoples, them, you know the deal. Subscribe, like, comment. Just yeah, I mean, it, it don't don't cost nothing, but it's greatly appreciated, man. Appreciate it. So, shocks. There's only one place to start, yeah. really, isn't it? All right, we listen, listen. Actually, uh, we don't normally, we don't normally on this um, on this uh, program have like a little um, format because normally it's just me just chatting while I'm yeah. doing. As you're here, I think we're going to talk about Chelsea. That needs to be. We need to go in there. Um, and, for sure, and, for our, sure. and you know what? And it's like it's nice because I'd like to have your thoughts on it as well. Do you know what I mean? See, okay, if we, yeah, for sure. Where we where we kind of differ. Um, it's nice having a banter, but let's just actually have a thought on that. Um, you are a very big. Um, how can I say? A very big um, co. You, you like to you like to press me on my points against our owners. Um, so yeah, I thought sure. it would be nice if instead of me just ranting at man on why i've had enough we kind of flip it you can have the you can you can conduct the interview and then i can possibly okay. give you a little bit of insight into what it is that is irking me so much do you know what i mean because right now it just seems at least from your side that we're just some um some privileged, little baby right yeah, some now, yeah. Privileged youths just <laughs> crying and that and it's not that at all in <laughs> private school youths mate that's not, how you love me like also, I just want to shout out everyone. Listen, just started this YouTube channel not too long ago, um, but the engagement has been mad. It's been new. So just want to thank everyone that's locked in, subscribed, commented. Um, just because it's such a small a small channel, when you comment and when you get at me, I'm back at you. Do you know what I mean? So I want to take a little bit of time at the end just to go through a couple of comments that I said that I will touch upon um, and shout out all the man them that's showing love. You get me? So, boom. All good. All good. Chelsea. Chelsea. So. Fat Frank is Big his, Frank. His head's on the chopping board than that. What? <laughs> Mate, you see this? You see this Frank Lampard thing, and it, it takes me back to the whole jump in the queue mentality that we have for certain certain footballers. Right. So there's no way you're telling me Frank Lampard has done enough to to deserve to manage Chelsea Football Club. Like, when did we start picking managers on? Their, their status at the club beforehand. Like, oh, he was a club legend. He's probably their best player of all time. So what that means, he's supposed to get some red carpet out and give him the Chelsea, man. We've been doing that, though. As football fans, we've been doing that. That's nothing. Like, but like, who's the... Okay, who's the... Who have you lot done it with? We Ken. ain't done it yet. But... You did it with Kenny back in the day, but... No, 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 no. no. You can't even say Kenny because Kenny, even... Kenny fully proved himself. Fully proved. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I thought that's what we, you were drawing. We ain't done it yet, I said. But okay, don't think okay. that, like, there's man... Me, personally, no. He hasn't done enough. But there's man that are talking about Gerard coming in now. And even that, I don't think it's fair, because I, I still think Gerard's done more in his managerial career than, say, Arteta and Frank and all of that. Um, I think I think there's a... Um, I think there's a, a, a comparison between Arteta and Frank, to be fair. Um, 100%. But uh, yeah and no. Yeah and no. Yeah, I still, even though Arteta hasn't actually been on his own, I mm. still would rate Arteta's experience more than I would rate Frank's just due to who he was with. Do you know what I mean? Who his mentor was. If you're a rapper and your mentor's Biggie, I expect you to be on levels. You know them ones there, like on yeah, some sort of yeah. levels. I, I don't expect you to have mic control or nothing like that, but just picking up certain things, I expect you to be like, yeah, cool. You know them ones there. Frank, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Frank is the nephew of Harry, and that's 
that's really all. Like that's really it. You know what I mean? Yeah, literally, like, literally. No, but and I, you 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 raise a very good point. But my issue is this, right? Is Frank at least knows how how it feels to make decisions, make the key decisions in the club. Mm -hmm. Like he knows, like to to come in front of the press on a week to week basis and deal with a bit of controversy and mm -hmm. and deal with a little bit of dip of form and how you react to the public and that's I was like. I don't think Arteta had an experience. I, I don't want to make this an Arteta Lampard yeah, yeah, yeah. thing. I was the one I'm that brought comparison. To be fair, but yeah, yeah, for sure. But Arteta, for me, like, and and we'll, I'm sure we'll definitely be sure about this. He he's not the guy for me, but because for me, he's not even a club legend. Yeah, no, I get that. He's not but, even a club but, legend. But, but, but do you have to be a club legend in order to be a good manager? No, but you need to be a, like f at least it would have made a little bit of sense if it was a, like an Henri that he's been given this much time to do all the nonsense he's done. But I think... That would make sense a little bit. I think, personally, Henri's a far bigger club legend than Arteta could ever be, but I think Arteta has a higher ceiling of being a better manager than Henri could be. I agree, but no no fans would have complained if Thierry got a whole year this yeah, season. I get that. And I like, get that. But, because of his status. I, I know but you. either one of them shouldn't be managing our club. I, I know you, yeah? I know your love for yeah. Arsenal, like my love for, for Liverpool. Like, as in, like, mm -hmm. you, you, like, I know you love Ozil, but if I gave you the option of Ozil or Arsenal, it's Arsenal, innit? That's the, that's the love, innit? 100%. That's, that's, every that's, time. Every that's time. That's the main thing, innit? Making sure that Arsenal sure. are successful, you know, move sure. on from whatever the club is. So in mm -hmm. that case, does it really matter that Arteta... Arteta's... Do you know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm trying to get at? Like, Arteta is a big yeah. legend and he seems to be actually... Doesn't it... Does, isn't it for the good of the club, regardless of... Who it look, is at the helm and look, who you give time to. I agree. I don't believe either Henri or Arteta should be given time at this it's stage of their managerial career. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd like at their managerial career. I would have liked Arteta to maybe have gone to you even know, a championship you know club. Let me, let me stop you there. No, 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 no. Because we're going to touch on that. We're going to touch on that. Let me yeah. just stop you there before we get too Arteta biased, innit? Yeah, 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 yeah. Going yeah. back to Frank, innit? Let me just say something here. I think, yeah... Frank is washed as a manager, like done out. And I and but I caveat that with saying I don't think that it's his fault. Like this ain't his fault, but he is washed. So it depends manager, what you mean by it's not his fault. I, I I think I'm gonna agree with you, but it depends what you mean. I, I and this is why I think a lot of a lot of Chelsea fans need to actually look at themselves, yeah, because yeah. Frank went to Derby. Before I get to this point, listen, like, subscribe, all of that. Okay, so Frank, we all know what Frank did in, with Derby in it. Basically, mm -hmm. did nothing with them. Do you know what I mean? Missed yeah. out on the playoffs. Got them for the that. championship uh, playoffs, yeah. Yeah, 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 pretty much got them to the <laughs> spot. So even within the job in which he was doing at Derby, I never looked at him and thought, oh, right, he's doing bits. You know them ones that I yeah. never, mm -hmm. never once. I just thought, okay, you're doing all right. Even when they were getting close, I never got yeah. excited. One, because I don't really watch Derby. And two, yeah. you know what I mean? I'm just being honest. So I was like, I wanted to see a lot yeah. more. So if you, you know, like certain man will say, oh, well, um, why such and such playing? Yeah, but he didn't pick himself. It's the manager's fault. Cool. Then you've got to have the same energy. Because mm -hmm. I understand you might apply it, Listen, like, we've all got ambitions. Do you know what I mean? I've got ambitions of growing this channel to 200 plus subs. That does it. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. How I get there is up to me. It's my ambition. He has ambition. Sure. I don't blame him for, for applying. But mm -hmm. you as Chelsea, you tell me, what the hell is it you saw in, in Lampard that gave you that appointment? Do you understand? There mm -hmm. must have been something you saw. Because, <coughs> because, like I said, what previous were you looking at to say no 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 actually you know what this uh, other than the yeah. fact that he used to be a, a legend what is it that, that he did and he done absolutely nothing that's not Lampard's fault mm -hmm. that's your for fault. sure for sure can I also say yeah as an outsider you're an outsider yeah. I think this is the case I just wanted to know if maybe we see things the same Havertz mm -hmm. Werner Ziyech none of those screamed out Lampard buys I don't think I. For to me, I feel like man was like, "Yo, we're going in for lamp. We're going in for for these man." And who are you to say no? You know them ones. that's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, all right, mm -hmm. cool. Again, or gone. If you before, please tell me. Okay, what like I'm not saying you're wrong, right? But 
I don't think he was upset with any of the options. I, yeah, that yeah, you yeah, might not be, you might not be wrong. Yeah, but there it was like, listen, for the type of football in which I want to play and my plans, yeah, I need these three men. I, I, I think he was like, yo, you're getting these men, and he was like, okay, I think Frank is 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 intelligent enough because I will say, you know, going back to how he conducts himself, I think that's probably one of Frank's most important things. I think he conducts himself very well. He's a he's a I don't know if you're yeah. in public school or whatever, but he does put himself across very well and in, in, for sure, for sure. I mean? very confident guy, like confident guy. Do you know what I mean? <clears throat> that stuff. He's, he's everything probably mm-hmm. Oli ain't. You know them when them them way there. For sure, so, for sure. So I think that he's a smart enough guy to have been like, yeah, cool. But I also think he's smart enough to think man, a bit of responsibility. I think he would have known that off the jump. But yeah. yeah. So, like, I feel like Chelsea kind of got a man where, like, they sold the dream. They were like, we need someone who's going to put up and shut up because we can't, tra- we, we, we can't do bits in the transfer market. And that's mm-hmm. our model. I don't know the yeah. identity of Chelsea without going into the market and splashing. Do you understand? Like, that's not who they are. So, mm-hmm. how can I sell that to someone, to a big boy manager who's looking to actually take yeah. up? We need a stopgap. Do you know what I mean? It's just someone who can just do something. Someone that the fans and- can buy into. <laughs> And I think you're you're you I think you're spot on with that in terms of because of their transfer ban, it put them in an awkward situation. So I think just like you, they thought, okay, what type of manager do we need that we know the fans are going to give time? Uh, it's not going to cost us a lot of money, and when we move him on, it's not going to be a big deal. Yeah, big deal. I, yeah. In terms of that, Plus, like me. Like, Plus, kind of like Arteta, like we can kind of tell him kind of what to do. Exactly. Because yeah. a fucking you can't tell Allegri what to do like that. You couldn't tell like an Ancelotti. He wasn't coming to hear that shit. Like I think, I think the board knew that you still there. Yeah, I think the yeah, board, sorry. I think the board knew what they were doing, but I don't think they counted for quite how how um, loved he was. Do you know what I mean? I don't think they quite counted for that. Um, so even though man's um, record is dire, the worst that it's been in some time, it's still not mm-hmm. enough. Then man, they were still like, nah. And they were, I don't think they were counting. Even like, some time. Yeah, I think they're thinking, what do you mean? Even like, man, we don't, we, bro. Right. And shout out, listen, because I didn't even know, I didn't even know this until I started, um, I did some research on that. Shout out Football Terrace, who brought me up on this year, because this is a madness, bro. Shout out Terry and them, man. They're, please subscribe to their, their channel and that. Bro, do you know... <laughs> I'm not going to spend too much time with this because I know, I know the, the optics of it is a bit, is a bit mad. Yeah. But I have to address it because you Chelsea fans, you need to stop your nonsense. You need to stop your nonsense. Don't act like you don't know who your owners are. The same owners who you're like, yeah, we love it because they're, do you know what I mean? They do this and they've got us all this, this da 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 da. When they've moved to a man mm-hmm. because he's not good enough, shut your mouth. Do you know that there's man out there actually trying to say that it's a racial thing? <laughs> <laughs> You're lying. No, you're lying. Where you're to lying. Me, I said, How? You, where? We'll go into it a little bit more in depth, like out of the show. But there's man actually saying, "Oh, it's because he's English. It's because he's a white English manager who is brother." I said, "Shout out." Someone said that from where? No, no, nah, bro, this is a joke. You're punking me, bro. bro Where's Ashton? Where's Ashton? I'm telling you, this nah, is you're punking me. Chelsea bro. fans, yeah, sort your life out. Sort yourselves out. I don't see none of you. None of you ever go to. If a man gets rid of sorry, so oh well, okay. If a man gets rid of um who won them the Champions League and got moved to immediately? Di Matteo. Quickly. That was disrespect. Di Matteo. Quickly. Avram Grant won them yeah. to what moved to. Don't say nothing, but you know the owners. Why are you not why are you not? It's like they're scared. You know them ones there, like, but you want to start talking shit about race, brother, brother. There's and 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 again. He, they were the ones that told me, um, football tennis showed me that there's been more English managers than there has been foreign managers leading top six clubs. But I've stopped trying to use anything. I couldn't believe it that this is actually trying to nah, actually... They're reaching, they're reaching. Reach. They're actually reaching. They reaching. just need something reaching. controversial to talk about. Reaching. That's what it is, reaching. man. Reaching. I would say... My... Go on, no, go on. Go on. I say my, my issue, on a deeper level, my issue with Frank is he... Um, I just... It's very similar to Oli. I mean, Oli has a lot more um, gems in his squad that he can that can bail him out more than Lampard does. Say that, but was he? 
Okay, yeah, okay. Like okay. in terms of actual game changers. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Like, bail him out, even though the team's playing shit. Like, yeah. you'd like that to be a habit. You'd like that to be a Werner, but they're just not like, that guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, for example, there's certain decisions that I don't get. Like, okay, great decision. Even though it took you a year to do it, you finally put Kante in his position. I don't agree with what you said the other time on your show that he's washed. I don't believe he's washed. Maybe he's a little bit more he's injury prone than he was. Well, I, I'm not I agree to disagree, right? <laughs> but he's still, he's, he's still a worldie. I definitely believe if he went to Man U in that defensive midfield role this summer, they would have massively benefited. Players like Pogba and Fernandez would have massively benefited from him. I just think there's certain things like ZX for me is a really good footballer. But in the Premier League, he cannot play on the wing. He cannot play on the wing. He doesn't have the energy to get up and down the wing. For me, like when we were interested in him, he was coming in to play as a number 10, not on the wings. I know he played for Ajax, but that's the ever Rediza or whatever they freaking call that league, yeah? <laughs> like, which you're not going to be bombing up and down on, on the wings anyway. So from the same thing with Werner. Werner can maybe get away with playing on the left wing in the fucking Bundesliga, but in the Premier League, Nah, he can't do that. He's not got enough of it in his game to do that. But he does. Huh? Werner kind of looks in the mirror and sees on Reba. He kind of does. He has that. <laughs> I'm that guy. He's like, I'm that guy. Yeah. I'm, I'm that, that guy, blood. I'm that guy. <laughs> Wherever across the front. Let me roam. Let me roam. Like, let me roam. You can't even bang two, two centimeters over the fucking goal. And you're trying to, like, he does. He's been doing that, though. Like, he's not really your out and out forward do you know what i mean he does drift he's been i've yeah. seen him do that so like the thing is yeah the thing is this i agree with what you're saying to a certain extent like i think if you're going to be a manager of a top six team you have to have balls do you know what i mean you have to have balls right. and you have to predominantly know what you're doing like do you know what i mean if you've got wingers like you said like i think you just with 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 Lampard, especially towards the end of his tenure, I felt like he was just going with whatever. Man has said that, do you know what I mean? Our wings are a bit mad, so yeah, let me try ZH there. And then, do you know what I mean? Like, know how you yeah. want to play. Do you know what I mean? Like, Hudson yeah. and, and, and And be com have and conviction be, in making exactly, that decision. Keep balls. going. Exactly. Yeah. Have balls and, That's it. and say, this is where I'm going to play. Boom. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie. One thing, one thing from his tenure is that I didn't really rate Mason Mount beforehand. And his use of him, some would say his... What, own. Lampard's son? Yeah, his bro. His son, yeah? Yeah, bro, but I mean, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, he's got the better checkers. Like, nah, 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 he's, he's, got, he's definitely got game. He's definitely got there game. was times when I was seeing Mason Mount and I was like, this is who you bought habits. To, like, he just had presence. You know them ones? Yeah, 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 yeah. In, upset, give me the ball, let me do something. I'm seeing Yeah, 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 he's... Dying over somewhere, just there, can't even shield the ball and that. I said, no, nah, he's actually. Do you know what I mean like he's actually not? It was it was too early for Havertz, mate. And if you and if you were gonna bring him in this early, you probably should have eased him more into the side than he did, rather than just, starting him. Starting I just don't him. understand certain things. You're you're six foot plus, like you've been playing number ten. So is our league so physical that you can't shield the ball? You can't get the ball, shield it, and then let it go. Little things like I just like they don't make no sense. Anyways, listen, we don't spend too much time on them man. There, uh, what are you saying about? Yeah, you think you think you think that's gonna be a a good appointment? Um, if I'm honest with you, I I think the verdict's still up on Tuchel, man. I I think he's like for me, Tuchel's like Brendan Rodgers before Celtic. What I mean by that is that he's known for playing good football. But when it comes to the key moments or the key parts of the season, they kind of drop off. I wouldn't say that about Brendan Rodgers now because of his Celtic experience. And I think he's learned from that Liverpool experience and how naive he was in, towards the end of you lot um, just missing out. It was more naivety than anything. He definitely had this, the team to do it, but he just made some rash decisions. Yeah. I think Tuchel was a little bit like that because he didn't win any... Well, it was hard to win the league at Dortmund when yeah, Bayern's there for sure. Have, he shouldn't have won what you're saying, basically. He what? He didn't win anything he shouldn't have won, basically. Winning yeah, anything, yeah, he literally. He's not won anything he shouldn't have won. Like, yeah, yeah. He gets to the Champions League final and then they put, a, put together that performance. I, I probably blame Neymar more than him for that final, but but still. It was a sense... He, I don't know, I'm not nervous there was, about... There was, a sense, there was a sense of, ah, at least we're here. You know, everyone's there. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. We got you here. Like, yeah, give yeah. me my freaking contract. I made it to the Champions League final. I'm apparently, the guy. apparently, apparently, I don't know how much of this is... um. 
clubs say what they want to say in it. But apparently they didn't move to him mainly on um, results. But apparently he's quite a bad um, communicator. Um, and they just didn't like the kind of communication between him and some of the star players. So I, I did always think about that. Like, hmm, do you know what I mean? Like, hmm, you is know that too sure you're talking about that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was that was the state. they said they, they said the main reason was his communication. Actually, that was the main. Oh, really? Reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. But then again, like I said, I don't know if they're just doing PR. But um, so that also creates issues. I, I think when um, he left PSG, Thiago Silva had some shit to say about him. So that might come back to bite him now. I think the only two people that really are super excited about him coming is Werner and Havertz. <laughs> and, they got and, another Eins by Dreiman in there. Man like Rudiger and that, <laughs> that man there, like. <laughs> yeah, all them German. Ah, he's German come on, man, it's Peter Stargen. Yeah, they can come into training like that. All, all right. That okay, listen, we're gonna spend a quick five minutes on the FA Cup. Um, right. <laughs> what's your thoughts? Obviously, <laughs> the one thing that we share in common is that we're both out of it. So yeah, but we're both out. Yeah, both yeah. out. Well, wow. different, different, different um, thingy. So I'm gonna let you take the Arsenal. You got literally three minutes. Talk us through it. Okay, my my verdict of that is I believe, and I I'm gonna back into the end of the season because it looks like the board would definitely will. But Arteta for me is not the man because he made a decision that I'm still don't understand. Because for me, as an Arsenal fan, I believe the highest place we can finish, regardless of all this ch- uh, higgy hagger up and down, people not really taking control of the, the European places in the league, I don't think we can finish any higher than eight, personally. If we do, he's done a freaking blinder. For me, isn't it? I'm, I'm just being a realist. So he's telling me he's resting players in a competition. Our only One of our only realistic chances of silverware now, our only, let's even say that, our only realistic charge left of silver where he's resting players. He's starting an 11 with, that consists of Nketia, William and Pepe. They're in the same starting 11. Same starting 11, like, come this on. This is why I dropped a comment to you just saying, how important was this? I just, this is why I said that, do you know what I mean? I wanted to kind of gauge the importance of, of this in terms hey. of... Like, it's, it's the, that it's, it saves our season in a way this would be because I didn't see us qualifying for Europa in the, in the premiership and we do need a European position so we can have a little bit more money. It's not Champions League money, but it's a little bit something. It's something. So I would have liked to, to try and retain that. And cause I don't believe we have enough to win the Europa League. It'll be nice. Don't get me wrong. But like, what did he see to think? Oh yeah, we got, we can do a good league run, maybe finish fifth or sixth. Is that, is that what, he, that's what he's basically telling us. That's what he's telling me with that lineup, and with how we've done business as well. So I'm I'm livid at the fact that there's no chance of silverware now. Even like even though the season was kind of already dead for me, at least with the cups, I had a little bit of belief that because you know on our day we, on our day in ninety minutes we can beat anyone depending on what we're on. Like especially in the FA Cup, we love to flex our muscles. Mm-hmm. So I thought, yeah, if anything, we'd do that. And now it looks like we're gonna win the same as Spurs. Nothing. Uh, and no, nah, bro, bro, I'm gonna tell you something real. Like, Spurs are winning some this year, innit? Stop it, stop it. They're already, they, what are they winning? They're already, they're already sitting. In what the are they winning? Final. They're already sitting in the final. Bro. Okay, so they're winning that final, yeah. I'm just saying they got way more, and I swear they just beat. Even though they were scud for the first nine minutes, I swear they, they just beat Wick and Wanderers. Yeah, brother, brother. Yeah, they beat. Just they're, they're winning something. Let's just come on, bro. Just start, just start engaging your mind into that because it's it's. <laughs> just accepting the first. It's just accepting. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> um, um, you got trophy Mourinho, bro. They're winning some. Um, I, I go into our. Um, I'm gonna spend very little time on this, and then I'm gonna hand it to mm-hmm. you for you, 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 the FSG thing. But yeah, listen, we come out. Um, in terms of the game, I thought it was um, very entertaining for you, man. For all the neutrals, mm-hmm. them. I, I wasn't so entertained. Um, my, my, I was, I was still very nervous. Um, I thought we put on a better performance than we did the first game. Um, however, well, the, the, the league game, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold yeah, on, yeah. one no, second. That's cool. Um, thought we put on a better performance than the league game. However, I felt that we allowed them to play too much. Um, I felt that we played pretty much as Liverpool do, which isn't a problem when everything's going okay and you're banging and you know what I mean and everything's working. When it isn't, yeah. I feel like there needs to be a little bit of 
let's let's tighten this up. Let's make sure. Do you know what I mean? You're going against Man United. Say what you will against Man United. They are one of the best counter-attacking teams in Europe. Do you know what I mean? And you know where their counter-attacks are coming from. You can actually pinpoint the players. Yeah. So giving them mm-hmm. that much time and freedom to allow them to be able to just... It just seemed mad. Um, we need to... I think I spoke to you or, or someone... Um, I know it, was, it wasn't. It was Julie I was speaking to when I was like, our um, team is very unbalanced and 55% of attacks coming down our right is mad mad it just seemed like it was just always the case and I understand that Reese Williams is there and Trent but I just feel like Klopp mm-hmm. should have he's a better manager and he could have sorted that out do you know what I mean um he could have found a plan for that plan, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I hear that and I feel like he was too he was too concentrated on us just scoring goals to really actually do you know what I mean like none now they they're them and actually I felt mm. he just thought like you know but what with you which you can't a hundred percent blame him for because no, of the recent no, performances. No, no, but yeah, I, I hear your point. I, I hear your point. At all. I just thought, mm, come on, do you know what I mean? Um, right, okay. So we've got about 10 minutes or just under. Okay. I'm now pretty much FSG out. Um yeah. and yeah, man, I'd like you to, to 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 ask me some pertinent questions, and I'm pretty sure by the end of this I'll be able to 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 let you know exactly why I think what I do. Okay, so you, I think um, in, in the video I watched, you made a comment saying that you guys are Arsenal, but you just have better assets. Big facts. Um, you're, you're, which you're not, you're not wrong, but that we have better ha- assets is a massive thing. The way you say it was like, oh, but we have better assets. But the fact is you do have better assets. So they put you in a position of more power than we were. So for example, when um, our last, uh, for example, our last, um, uh, Premier League title, right? After that title, what you expect for a, a champions, a champion winning team is to refresh the squad, add to the squad, right? Really Rather much, than just really rest on your laurels. Right Go ahead. Yeah, but wait, this is the difference. Us refreshing our squad was adding a 16 year old Cesc Fabregas. That was us refreshing our squad. In that boss. season, yeah, definitely, oh, no. definitely. But when it <laughs> but when it comes to refreshing your squad, you're not talking about um, a player from the youth team being promoted. You're talking about going out there splashing some cash on someone. No, but I guess in that situation, no, we would, no, 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 shocker. I'm not having this. I'm not having this. You're just Bruv, saying, you're not telling me you're not telling no, me wait, if they wait, if they wait. if they promoted two youth team players, you'd be excited about FSG now. Would you be it, excited? It, it, who everything is in context, bro. Nah, it depends nah, who agree. it is. You can't be talking to me about Cesar Fabregas, arguably top three midfielders of the Premier League era. Who are you talking about? Bro, at 16, was he that guy though? I don't care. Because even if they told you, mean you don't care, bro. Is, that, is, is Cesar Fabregas going to help us retain the title? Me, if they told me, yo, you know what? Moving forward, we're going we're gonna to bring back Harvey Elliott because of what he's doing in Thingy. I would say, fair enough. Because of what he's doing, you have to look at them. You have to assess it. Okay. You have to assess okay. it. Okay, so, okay, great. I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you made that point. Gas is levels. Right. It was levels. I'm glad. I'm glad you gave that example. Right. Okay. So now, if they bring back some some Liverpool player who's a centre back on loan from the youth team, is that okay? I don't know. The, the I, I, watch, I watch. I watch a lot of um, LFTV, and I know all the. Like, mm-hmm. I know the ones. There ain't anyone there. Billy Camacho is no good. Reese Williams, no. There isn't anyone there that I can actually say, boom. Because if there was, then cool. But there isn't. If they went and said, we're bringing back, we're bringing back, um, what's his name that I just said to you? Um, my man who's playing in Blackburn. Um, and, and Harvey Elliott. We'll bring back Harvey Elliott and we're going to get rid of um, Navi Keita. We're going to get rid of Ox. We're going to, I'd be like, yeah, cool. And we'll get someone else. But one of those, the new additions is going to be, my, I say, yeah, cool. The thing is, yeah, someone said this, someone said this, and I agree with this. We, I mm-hmm. think Man United, a Man United's treble, treble um, winning season, that team is probably the best team in Premier League history, yeah? And some people, I think, r- wrong. Bloody Invincibles, yeah. No, 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 no. You drew so many games that I'm talking about just the... I'm, no. No, I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about the achievement. I'm just talking about the actual team. I think the team... The actual was, team. ...was on levels, yeah? It's so, debatable, well, but yeah, we'll, we'll get into that another day. Yeah. But and, and, and what I'm saying is you can debate our team being as good. You'd be wrong, but there is an argument. 
if you're that close to such greatness, we are, we are close to being, we're, we're actually close to like a dynasty. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree. And bar the start of the season. Owners. Okay. Bar our cheap owners. Like to be this good, to have to have such a manager who is undoubtedly to be, you can't still have a buy to sell model. It doesn't work, bro. And then and then and then you're putting us in this position. You we've got talks of like Mbappe and Haaland. You think any of them men are coming to our my club if we're not doing what we should be doing, which we would be doing if you gave us adequate funding. Like you've got us so hungry. So hungry, like man starving. My ribs, I could show you my ribs, bro. Now, if you dangled yeah. Socrates in front of me, I yam your hand off, bro. I yam it off. That like, don't talk Bam. to me. If you offered me Jota and Tiago, bro, care. I don't care. I'm who not are. getting greedy, bro. I'm not who, getting greedy. Who, who are you? Because who look, are you? at the start of the season, no, don't answer my question. At the start, who are you? Oh, who are you? That's not that's who, not what I'm saying. That's not the point. So, wait, okay. Who are okay, we? if okay, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. If if our owners gave us a Tiago and Jota after we were invincibles, I'd be excited. I'd be fucking oh. over the moon. But but can they I didn't give us that. Bro. Can I say something? Yeah. They gave you that, bro. No, 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 no. We didn't need to. But, the, but this is what I'm saying is for a, for a, um uh, um for a team that have owners that if we had City's owners, I'd be happy. Mm-hmm. I'd be happy because I know that you know what. what of course we, you would. Of course you would. Anyone would be. Because what we really needed, you never got. But you, man, are progressive. So I know in January we'll get what we need. Don't worry about it. You gave us Tiago, which we didn't really need. I love it. We didn't really need it, though. Jota, we always needed. We just didn't know it was going to be Jota. Mm-hmm. We were screaming out mm-hmm. for a replacement for Salah, for Mane, or someone who could play. We needed mm-hmm. that badly. So don't give us something we already needed. Just because you did a masterstroke in get, getting Jota, someone that we didn't wasn't on our mind, cool. And that weren't you. That weren't you. That was Klopp. Listen, that weren't you. That was Klopp. What we needed was a centre back because to be Premier League champions, to, to be Premier League champions, brother, and to yeah. have what's going on right now is, yeah. brother, it's scandalous, scandalous. We listen. But you would you would never say in centre back at the start of the season, bro. Yes, I was. You weren't saying that. No, yes, you I were. Was. Yes, I was. No, you were not. Bro. No I was way. One because we let go of Lovren and Matip his bones. This isn't a new thing. Bro, Matic, it's not like, oh, you know what, Matic's been all right and now he's just having a bit of a season. Matic has never completed a full season for man. Let me not lie. Matic's never completed two months for man. So he was dodgy. <laughs> Gomez, even Gomez, is, is, is surplus to a good three months out of the season. So I've always been like, bro, the only thing I, I did was I didn't want Lovren. But I did not want Lovren to not have anyone. That's mad. And I get the fact that you didn't, you didn't you didn't take into account that VVD was going to have a um a season ending. For sure. I get all of that. But even with VVD there, you still got Matip who's broken, and then Joe Gomez is subject to give you free. You need a center back. That was glaring. I go back to I go back to the 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 uh, one thing as well. I said that we're like you, but one thing I would say is our owners are better businessmen than yours. That is it. That is it. They're better businessmen than no. you. No, no, and 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 mm-hmm. like, if you turn over a profit, you can be confident that they're going to use that on players. No, whereas they're using I, where they're using I, our money. No, let me. Stop no, you. what do you mean? What? No, look at no. Alison Van Dyke. No, like what? Should I? Should I go yeah, on? Bro, hold on a second. Jota, hold, on, hold on a second. And on. this is my, all my real Liverpool man them, yeah, because this guy is mm-hmm. on joke thing. All you man there, if you're watching this and you can hand on heart say that had we not have sold Coutinho, we would because had we not have sold Coutinho. We still. You can't keep. I've heard you say this thing. No. But you can't, I can't allow you to keep using it, bro. Because you did sell Coutinho. You did sell him, though. Was it was it if we uh, if we didn't sell Coutinho? Yeah, if you didn't sell Coutinho, you wouldn't have won the Premier League. What listen, about that? Listen, listen. What about that? How about that? Listen. How about that one? But you did, and you got a Van Dyke and an Allison, and we you shut up shop. We got a Van Dyke, and we got and then shut up shop. Get yeah. me. No long thing, but on a mad thing, gave a Champions let League. Me, let, let me, let me, let me, what are you talking into, about? Let me go. Nah, into, you're, you're, bro, you're throwing the dummies out of the pram, bro. I'm really nah, not. I'm really not. Bro, we, we, we listen, we, we're your not. Woes are, wait, your woes are not finishing in the top, in the top. Yeah, I agree. I we, agree. City, bro. But after we are first, subject, we're subject to be seventh. Come this weekend, we could be seventh, brother. Get out of here, man. Bro. Don't talk to me. Don't talk bro. to me. 
don't talk to me. Listen, listen, before we go on, Bro, before we go on, I did say... 10 years ago, before. were you... Pre- wait, 10 years ago, were you Premier League champions? No. Huh? No. These people brought you a Premier League championship after 30 years and a Champions League medal, bro. And, and the way you're... Like, I, wait, hold on, hold on. Like, they've definitely maybe... if Like, for being the champions of England and the champions of Europe and even the champions of the world, let's not knock that part as well. Not, little sprinkle World Club champions on there as well, yeah? You should be able to find the centre-back in January. I agree with that. But would I... If they didn't do that, would I go as far as say FSG out? Yeah. Nah, man, that's not fair, bro. That's not like, fair. Well, listen, I'm not even. We haven't even got the time. We'll go into it. But listen, I've got to shout out a couple of the, a couple of the, the supporters, man. Uh, Forgotten World TV has said that uh, there's man saying that Barca might have already have paid off Coutinho's money. So in that case, we're in a pickle. G. These owners don't care about soccer, but it's baseball. So dead. Um, also, I want to shout out Tony Kelly. Say for the support, man. <coughs> He said something that I think is, is, is definitely pertinent. He said he's not, he wouldn't go as far as to say he's FSG out, but he heard that they were spending hella P over there in baseball. Does that sound familiar? <laughs> Does that sound familiar to certain yeah. Yeah. Um, with They're the Very Bears. familiar. And apparently um, we don't have any money to spend this window, but a big sum is coming. Again, that's the same spill that I've heard certain North London clubs have been checked. Anyways, let me not go on. Um, <laughs> um, we brought the likes of Adrian Minamino and Ox. The only big players we have brought in um, were Thiago, VVD and Fabinho um, and Alisson, um, who, have, who, have, who have no prestige play. We don't have any prestige players after they came in um, and we're just going backwards. Jota was good, but he's not world-class signing. I, I have a lot of people that are thinking the same as me um, and I feel like I need to go into it in a little bit more. In a yeah, little this bit is going to have to be a whole segment. Yeah, a whole segment. Yeah. Um, but listen, thank you so much for coming on the on the channel, man. Nah, thank, thanks for having me. Right. I can't wait for you to return the favor soon right. too. Man, little shout out One Touch TV yeah. one more time. Yeah, man, go subscribe over there. One Touch TV. Go subscribe, like, share, all of that. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe, like, share, all of that. Um, and yeah, man, we'll uh, I'll be back with my preview tomorrow. Have a good hey. one, bro. Take it easy.